For example, you might be asked to factor the binomial 4x squared plus 10x. The first step is to write the prime factorization of each term. So the prime factorization of 4x squared is 2 times 2 times x times x. And the prime factorization of 10x is 2 times 5 times x. Then you need to circle the factors that they have in common. The greatest common factor is the product of the common factors. So in this situation, 2 multiplied by x gives you a greatest common factor of 2x. Step 3, you need to write the GCF in front of the equation and then divide each term by the GCF to determine the remaining factor. So here we will multiply the, or divide sorry, the first term by 2x. 4x squared divided by 2x gives you 2x. Next, divide positive 10x by 2x to get positive 5. So this is the factored form of the binomial 4x squared plus 10x. Here's another example using a couple variables. Again, the first step is the same. Write each term using prime factorization. So 3a exponent 4, b exponent 4 is written as 3 times a times a times a times a times b times b times b and b again. The prime factorization of 12a cubed b cubed is written here. And the prime factorization of 3a squared b squared is written here. Then circle the factors that they have in common. Remember, all three terms have to have the common factor. So each of the three terms have a 3 and an a common, another a, a b, and another b. So the greatest common factor is the product of the common terms. 3 multiplied by a multiplied by a multiplied by b multiplied by b gives you a greatest common factor of 3a squared b squared. The last step is to write the GCF in front of the equation and then divide each term by the GCF to determine the remaining factor. So when we divide the first term by 3a squared b squared, you are left with a squared b squared. Now divide the second term by the greatest common factor. Positive 12 divided by 3 leaves you with 4. A cubed divided by A squared leaves you with A, and B cubed divided by B squared leaves you with B. Then divide the last term by the greatest common factor. Notice here, when you are dividing a term by itself, the result is 1. So 3A squared B squared divided by itself, 3A squared B squared, gives you 1. A common mistake here is that students say that the answer is zero. Be sure that you don't make this mistake when you're working through a problem like this.